Now let's see how exactly this stream map and reduce interface reduce method works. So in the last video, last video we have done, what we have done is we have created a list and that have six elements and we are just multi, uh, we are just uh, multiplying each number by two and then we have some we are adding all these numbers. Now to understand this topic, let me comment this part and let's do it again. So let me write this thing once again. So let me let me create some space here. I will say system dot out dot print ln and in bracket I want to print values dot. So first we have to convert into stream. Now what this stream will do is it will convert all your values into stream. Now once you get stream, this stream object here. Let me go step by step. What we need here is we need to create object of stream. We'll say stream s equal to values dot stream. Now this stream method will give you object of stream. Let me import the package. So you can see we have a package here, which is this. So stream belongs to stream package. And we can simply type here s. Okay. Now we just, we don't want to create a object of stream. What we want is we want to multiply every number by two. So what we can do is we can simply say s dot, there's a method called as map. So map will take a value and it will convert that value into the specified output you need. So what we can do is here, we can say map and this map object needs a object of. So if you can search here, it needs an object of function. So before using map, we need to create object of function. So before this stream, somewhere here, let me create object of function. So how to get object of function? We'll say function for all the integer values. We'll say object name is f equal to new uh, function here. And let me check the signature function first. Let me put the package. Okay, it's function dot function. And if I go to this function interface, it takes two things. One, you can, if you go to function, you can see it takes two generic values. One is the uh, the type of the value it will take and second, the written type. So written type is R. So I hope you are familiar with generics topic. To understand this, we, you need to be very clear with generics. So it takes two parameters, integer and integer. So it takes an integer parameter and it, it, ret it returns an integer parameter. So here we have to specify both. So it's integer and integer and we can give a bracket and open and close and we give a semicolon here. Since function is an interface, we have to define the methods. Now let's see which method this function have. And the function, the method name is apply. And you can see this function is a functional interface. So function is an interface which is, which is defined in version 1.8 and it's a functional interface which means we can use lambda expression, but that we'll use later. So in this function, it has only one method, which is public. It returns an uh, integer value, so we'll say it is integer. And the function name is accept. So we'll say accept. And it takes an uh, integer i. It takes an integer i. And we can simply say for every value of i, return i into 2. Simple. OK, we are getting an error here. Which object? Let me check. OK, it's not accept. This is apply. So method name is apply here. OK, so method is apply. We have to say it returns integer. It's accept integer. For every value of i, we can just return the value which is integer, which is i into 2. And somewhere here, we can just pass the object of f. So we can, if I give a semicolon here, you can see this map returns our object of stream. So now let me create one more stream here. We'll say stream s equal to, let's say this is s1. So this s1 has all the values which is multiplied by two. If you want to verify, if I say stream dot, so stream also has a method which is for each. Now you know how to use for each. We'll use a for each method here. And we can simply use a method reference with the system dot out colon colon. Let's print all the value, we'll say print ln. Okay, so we don't have to use uh, s out here. Okay, so let me print the value of s. So if I say run, you can see stream has already 
Okay, uh, I made a mistake here. It's printing the values. Okay, let, let me print it later. So simply I will say s out, it will print s dot, uh, it was values dot stream. Let's, let's keep it there. Now if you come back here, what we have done is we have first take a stream which is all the values one to six, and then we have we took all the values which are mapped. So it will multiply all the values by two. Now this map returns a stream. So we got two stream now. Let me get one more stream which is S2. Now in this stream, I will say S dot uh, oh sorry, S1 dot reduce. Now what this reduce will do is reduce will take the object. It will take two parameters, first is zero, the initial value, and then we have to specify the object of binary operator. So we need to pass the object to binary operator. Now how to pass the binary object of binary operator? That we'll see in the next part.